And hello from the Dusseldorf Arena, located very close to the vast trade fair here on the capital of the state of Nordrhein-Westfalen. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you this Zweite Bundesliga match. It's Fortuna Dusseldorf, and they take on Darmstadt. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the starting 11 for Fortuna Dusseldorf. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. And now they get the ball rolling. Committed challenge. Ruben Hennings. Ao Tanaka. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Takes the shot! Oh, tremendous header that time, but the goalkeeper was there. And the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Garkin. And a long way out here. Well, in actual fact, it ended up being a simple claim for the keeper. Has a go. And what a magical save it was. Over it comes. Well, it has come to nothing. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. He cuts it back, and a goal it is! There was almost an inevitability about that, and now they've got work to do. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. The ball is moving 
once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Kemper and an astute piece of defending. Tanaka. Ruben Hennings. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? to the advanced position well, still searching for the equaliser but not passing it anxiously and it's a goal level again what a match this is turning out to be well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through Good vision to set up the chance, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Marvin Melem. In position here to protect the ball. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And successfully cut out. Skarke. It's opening up for them. And still looking for space. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Who can he pick out? And a struggle to get it away properly. Could be a chance to break here. They need to get bodies back. Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw-in here. Skarke. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, great defending. And with that, the first half draws to a close. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. And now they get the ball rolling. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Spot on with that tackle. Melem. And take it away. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Making high pressing work for them here. 
It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. with the ball and controls it perfectly a very good goal so back underway intriguing contest this given the 2-1 scoreline well high marks for that pass Matthias Zimmermann, Edgar Pribe. Now, what can they do from here? But really sticking to their task defensively. Just made sure nothing came of that. And into the last 30 minutes now. Tobias Kempe. Now a decent position. Wonderful chance. And getting across to stop it. Been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches let's see about the delivery and punched away it's there for him and just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Device on the ball. Hard hits. Doing well to keep possession. And into the last 20 minutes. Kempe. Smuggled away. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Determined block. Ao Tanaka. Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the equaliser, though? Could be troublesome. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Yeah. 
So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. And they will make the change now. Chance to cross. And he's got the beating of his opponent. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, they profit from this situation. Holland. And teammates to play it to. Giving it a try. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time.